Today, I'm gonna be showing all of you people how to gun drop in Halo Infinite. I'm gonna tell you why it is even important and why you should be doing it. YouTube, it is your boy Above Average Code here coming at you with a quick little video on how to gun drop in Halo Infinite. Now, everybody's freaking out about this because of all the cool clips of like Lucid dropping his gun and then switching to his BR and things like that. And I was kind of shocked at how many people still don't know that that mechanic is in the game and they're wondering how to do it and things like that. Well, it's kind of complicated because it's not already bound to a button now you'll notice we're right at the main menu here so what you guys are going to do if you're on controller this goes the same for keyboard and mouse i'm not sure if it's already bound on keyboard and mouse so you're going to go to the control panel you're going to go into settings notice you're already on controller settings you're going to scroll all the way down here to your on foot button binds and you'll notice there it is the drop weapon category you'll notice there's no button next to it that is because all of the buttons guys are already taken up so you have to bind it to a different button you can bind it to whatever button you want just keep in mind if you bind it to something that is already bound to a different um action like melee it will take that bind away from melee because now that button will be used to drop weapon personally i put it on the left side of my d-pad i don't really switch grenades intentionally too much anyways maybe i'm bought for that so you're going to click a on it it's going to say binding weapon drop binding drop weapon it's waiting for you to press a button so that the game knows what button you're going to bind it to so i'm going to press left Left on the d-pad and it's going to bind to there it'll say binding left on the d-pad to drop weapon will remove it from switch grenade that's fine again guys i don't care to have a button bound to that so i'm going to click a on rebind so now the drop weapon button will be left on my d-pad on my controller and just to show you guys if you go down to the switch grenades now it will be unbound as you can see i took the bound the bind away from switch grenade and now it is on drop weapon. So I will be pressing left on my D-pad to drop the weapon. And guys, while we load into our academy trading mode here, our favorite place to practice, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave a like on the video and leave a comment. Let me know if this video did help you guys out on learning how to drop the weapon. And again, in a bit here, once I show you that uh, the bind now works, I'm going to explain to you guys why you would even bother doing this and why the pros are making it a big deal in pro play in the HCS. Okay guys, here we are online. Live fire. I only put one bot and play fighting is on just to show you guys the basic mechanic of it. And now you can see here, I am pushing left on my D-pad and the gun drops. You can drop any gun as long as you have a secondary. You cannot drop your only gun. So here we go with the mangler. Just press the button. Just keep dropping it. You can drop it for your teammates. You can drop whatever you want. You can run up to your enemy and give them the gun. I don't care what you guys do with it, but I will show you why the clips are so crazy and why the pros are even doing this now they were they've been doing this since the first event i believe because this mechanic has been in the game and the biggest deal is with the mangler here dropping the gun because it is actually faster to drop the gun and pull up the br burst than it is to press y and then get the burst you can't really notice how much longer that takes but it's almost instant if you drop the gun, and it is not instant if you are just switching weapons. So what they're doing in the HCS is they're tapping, tapping, dropping the gun, and then getting the burst. You're supposed to hit the first burst. but And then you will get the hold this medal because you're throwing your gun at them, getting the kill, which then initiates the hold this medal. I will show you guys one more time once this uh, 343 bot decides to show himself. It's going to be a little harder to show you if he grabs OV. But here we are. We're going to hit him once. We're going to hit him twice. We're going to drop the gun, and then we're going to burst him. And you guys can see just how quick that is. And the reason you, the pros even care about doing this is because when you are playing somebody at a top tier at such equal skill, every little millisecond counts, guys. And if somebody who you're playing against is doing the switch guns to uh, away from the mangler to get the kill, you are going to be that much faster, and you are going to win that gunfight because you saved that millisecond that they did not have. You might even kill them before they can even get the burst off. They're going to freak out. They're going to think you're crazy. And honestly, guys, it makes for a pretty sick clip just doing this and getting a kill if you can land all the shots uh, where they should be. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about gun dropping. Very simple mechanic it is in the game it's just very strange because it is not already bound to something but again there's only so many buttons on a controller guys it is not like a keyboard where you have endless amounts of buttons you can use and bind uh so that's probably why they unbound it because it is not a necessary mechanic it is a hard one to master again it's mainly the pros doing it but everybody's seen the pros doing it. everyone's freaking out about it guys but that's enough talking gun dropping very simple hope this uh how to helped you out here i guess we can call it a how to but guys please be sure to subscribe down below please 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 leave a like on this video and leave a comment 
Let me know if this video did, in fact, help you out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.